Hi everyone, this is Kona, and in this video we're going to talk about what you can do if you've got two sets of numeric data. So numeric and numeric data, um, and this is going to show scatter plots. So our example question is, is there a relationship between time spent exercising each week and glasses of water drank each day? So do people who exercise drink more water? So what we're going to use are numeric hours spent exercising and number of 12 ounce glasses of water drank each day. Well, let's get to it. So to do this, we're going to go up, oops, sorry, up to graph and scatter plot. And we're going to go ahead and do a simple one. So just click OK. Now for here, it doesn't matter which variable is your x and your y. As long as you pick the right ones, it doesn't matter. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and do exercise as my y and glasses of water as my x, but it really doesn't matter. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And what you're going to get is just a simple scatter plot showing the relationship between um, number of glasses of water people drink each day and the hours they exercise on average each week. So what you're kind of looking for is their relationship. So is it something to where the more water you drink, the more you exercise? Well, maybe there's a little bit of a pattern there like that. Um, so if you think about it, here's the person who drinks the most water also indicated that they exercised the most. Yeah, but then you've got the next person who exercised the next most and they not the least number of uh, glasses of water, but not too many glasses of water. Uh, but is there a pattern? So if you kind of look at, you know, maybe take this top half of data here, like, well, not really. So let's go down one more. All right. So if you go down to kind of eight and look above there, eh, not really much of a trend up here in the top and these kind of outliers up through here. Uh, you do see some of these where you've got, you know, an eight and a 10 and they're getting about eight, uh, eight glasses of water. Uh, you can see though that the person who exercised the least uh, drank you know, eight hours, which was half of what the most person who the most did. But you can also see over here, you've got these. So is there a pattern? Nah, not really a strong one, but you can, you can talk about it. It's just something to talk about. Uh, something if you really wanted to, you could also, and remember, if you click back on here, it's just going to open the last thing you did. Uh, oh, except that's not what I wanted. I do want to actually go to graph scatter plot and try it with the regression line. And what that regression line does is just tries to show if there is some kind of pattern going on. Uh, and we will learn about this more. So I don't expect you to actually understand this. This is just kind of getting your feet wet, so to speak. And let's go ahead and click OK. And so here, what this is showing you is that there is. So a flat line would be basically there's nothing going on in this data. Like there's no trend. There's absolutely no relationship between the two. Now, the way that this is kind of going up like this is indicating that there is a slight positive relationship between hours exercise and glasses water. So it's kind of going up like this, showing uh, that the more glasses of water you have, the more hours of you exercise, or the lower number of glasses of water you have, the least you exercise. So that's that positive relationship. Um, if it was a negative relationship, the line would be going the opposite direction. So a positive relationship um, is going kind of this direction, kind of up from uh, this zero point up towards the upper corner here. If it was a negative relationship, the line would be going the opposite direction. So it would be coming from like um, one of the 16s towards the other 16. So kind of cross diagonal that way. But I hope this helps and I hope this means you're better able to explain and talk about this type of data in comparison.